Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are going to lay a plate along the walkway for ease of walking around the tank, which will be installed on top of this platform you're seeing on the screen here. Welcome once again, and let's get started right away. I'll zoom out and I'll take you straight to points that uh, I have marked out just to guide me when creating the plate. Then after doing that, after creating the whole plate here, I'll, I'll just cut it out along this the edge along the edge of the uh, walkways now we'll go straight away and uh, start creating a plate we, uh, using a polygon tool and with assistance of these points marked out here I've marked these points now we'll go straight to uh, still here and come all the way to plate we'll click uh, on plate we'll click this drop down arrow under plate right there and we have three choices there we'll go for the first one which is uh, a plate and uh, we'll start all the way anywhere we can pick it from that spot and uh, we'll zoom out and target the other spot at that end and we'll snap right on that point and uh, i'll zoom out in and out again and snap on this point this point is 50, 50 millimeter off this edge 15 millimeter 50 millimeter not 15 millimeter to to that end is 15 mil 50 millimeter we were avoiding to uh, to clash with the railing post now I'll target the third point here. I'll snap on that spot and I'll zoom out and go all the way to the other end right here. And I'll snap right here. And my plate is created. Now we want to check the properties of this plate. How thick is it? I'll double click on it to access the plate window here where we'll be able to see the properties of the way of, uh, of the plate here the names actually given it given us plate and uh, the profile is a plate in uh, in abbreviation and uh, it is uh, 10 millimeter thick we need uh, six or eight is okay eight millimeter that's okay if you intend to change the the material here you can change the grade of the material here if you tend to change from uh, the default once you've picked your you are, you, you are uh, steel grade you click apply and okay uh, that's it and you'll go straight away and click and go straight away and click modify and ev everything will, uh, will pick the settings that you've selected right there now Normally the walkway uh, checker plate, but uh, in Tecla we don't have a checker plate and this will represent a checker plate. Now th the next thing we're going to do, I'll just click on empty screen, just remove, to deselect what has been selected. I mean the plate. Now I want to cut the, this plate along the walkway beam. I'll just right click and come to interrupt and come all the way to edit come to edit right here and I'll come to points by clicking that drop down arrow and i'll pick uh, this option of point creation then i'll snap on top of that edge and uh, also go all the way and snap on top of that edge right here make sure you snap on the right position i'll snap on top of that and also I'll go all the way to the other end want to create the points that will, will guide us in, in cutting out this plate along the beam that along the walkway beam now um, zoom out once again and target this last point creation and I'm not able to see it clearly so what I'll do I'll just come to view here or you can come to control press control and uh, and press your mute button on the mouse and you'll be able to to rotate that 
I'll come to edit again. That rotation command has uh, overridden my 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 point command. Now let me just snap on top of that. Right click and come to interrupt. Now, having created these points, I want to give an offset. I want to give a, a diagonal offset of these two uh, of of points. I'll I'll pick two points diagonally and. Uh, give an offset of 650 going all the way to the center now i'll pick on that spot and right click and uh, come to copy here then i'll pick that point then target the uh, the, the diagonal point right here and i'll direct my cursor i'll just place my cursor right here just place my cursor right there and i'll type the offset dimension of 650 650 and I'll turn on my keyboard right there and I'll do the same thing at the end here I'll go all the way to this end and I'll pick this point I'll right click and come to copy and I'll snap on top of that point and I want to define the path for my point to follow I want it to follow I want it that offset to follow this path of 650 along the diagonal line then I'll enter on my keyboard right there and I'll right click to exit uh, from that uh, point command now what I'm going to do I want to copy this point I want to copy this point I want to copy this point right there from this point I'll hold it from this spot and I'll go all the way and place it on top of this point right here I'll snap right there I'll snap right there right click and interrupt just to get an exit route that has been copied on that spot and we'll do the same thing at the other end and we'll just uh, we'll come back and confirm whether it is 650 just to confirm to you that is uh, that is 650 millimeter i'll click on that right click and come to copy and i'll pick that point and i want it to move 650 millimeter off that edge going that direction so i want to i, I have to define the path to be followed well uh, that uh, 650 millimeter offset is being created now I'll just place my cursor there. I will not click, and I'll type 50 millimeter right there. Remember, Tekla works on the metric. That's why I'm talking about of uh, so many millimeters, and also it depends on uh, on the environment you've picked. You've picked a U U.S. environment. Everything and uh, other material be some sort of uh, imperial now i'll s i'll place my cursor there and i've i've uh, defined or i've placed or i've typed 650 millimeter and entered so i'll just right click and interrupt and uh, go all the way and check whether that 650 has been created it has been created here now our next step is to cut this plate along these four points now I'll come I'll come to I'll come to edit here and we have two options here of editing or cut or cutting out any part or any plate now I'll go with the first option which is polygon cut now I'll start my polygon from this spot from this spot I'll hover my cursor on top of this it's not detecting and what I'll do now, I'll right click and and change and uh, change the view to to plan view this way, so that I can be able to see this clearly. Now I'll come to edit once again and come to polygon. Now after uh, after selecting polygon, I'll go all the way and pick. Uh, select the object that I want to cut out. I want to cut out the split and I want to 
uh, to be cut using a polygon tool now I'll snap right here and go all the way to the other end following the points that I've created the four points I've created I'll snap right there and I'll zoom out and snap right here and I'll snap right here I'll snap right here and just zoom, make sure I'm, I'm very accurate in, in uh, locating the points and I'll zoom out once again and go all the way to this point till I, go, I, 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 I connect my initial point with this ones let me just zoom out and make sure I snap on the on the right direction on, on the right point and I'll go all the way in the snap on the other end I'll snap on this end right here and press my middle button on the mouse and uh, the, my plate has been cut my plate has been cut but it hasn't been cut appropriate uh, 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 it has not been cut perfectly now what I'll do once again if I switch back to my isometric view you'll be able to see well that it has not been cut perfectly well you can see that next thing we'll just go ahead and click undo and uh, our points are still intact I'll go back to polygon again and uh, click on that and we'll make sure our lines are straight we are clicking exactly on the points marked out to be cut out I'll snap on that spot and go all the way to the other end also and do the same thing I'll snap here or I'll click on that spot on that spot and I'll zoom out and go to that spot also and click on it click on that point then come all the way to this point and click on this point then press my middle button on the mouse I'll right click and exit by clicking uh, interrupt there's no need of clicking your middle button on the mouse the moment you you've joined the moment you've created a polygon the the cutout will be created or the hole be, will be created now i'll come here under view and i want to rotate this i'll rotate this and this is this is a plate created for our walkway when you access this platform all the way from this end you'll be able to walk along these along the uh, uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to walk around this way because the tank will be installed up here so it will take all these spaces a very well a very small space will be left that nobody can penetrate through and uh, drop down now let me just change this color and uh, click that and i'll hover my cast on top of that on top of this cube and i'll click on that drop down arrow and i want to give a different color for my uh for my checker plate or plate that uh, will be, will help will uh, will make easy will make it easy to walk along to, to walk al around the tank that will be installed on top of this platform let me just give it that color and i'll click on empty screen Deselect, remove that selection. Now, if I go to navigate and turn this round, you'll be able to see that we have a plate all round, and this is normally a checker plate or gratings. That's it, and this is how it's created. But you know. Uh, this plate will, this plate this walkway plate will be created in a, in a simpler manner we will get we'll just get a, a a plate and cut it and 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 weld it all the way to all all the way through to that end and uh, weld another one going this way but this just to give you give you a picture on how the final product will look like 
now thanks a lot for watching this vi this video and uh, this channel also and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe i'm always dimba and let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye